What up, Geek Squad? Today I'm here to talk about Emporia's energy monitors. Not sponsored, nobody sent me anything to do this. Paid for this with my own money. In fact, I've been using this for well over a year now. This is really just a real world review of my experience with it and maybe it's something that could interest you and help you out. Now there's a bunch of different energy monitoring devices out there like this. This is just the one that I chose. It fit in my budget at the time and it had some really good reviews on Amazon. I don't have it in my hands because it's actually installed in my breaker panel at the moment and has been, like I said, for the better part of a year. In fact, I'll leave a, a picture I took of my breaker panel. You can see that I've got the Emporia mounted at the top of the panel and I've got a cable run over to an antenna since it's connected via Wi-Fi. Now, what is Emporia's energy monitor? Well, it's this guy right here. This is the one that I'm using. So it's got this little box that does all the communication and logging and holds all the information. And it has each of these little clamps that connect to your uh, different circuits that you want to monitor. They have different editions of this. Like they have one that's just these two larger clamps and the larger clamps actually go onto the two main leads in your breaker panel, in your breaker box. They've also got other ones that have the two mains and then like four or eight different individual circuits. So depending on your needs, I got the one with the full 16 circuits. And that's really still not enough for all of the circuits in my house, but it really accomplished what I was trying to do. Uh, this is the generation two view energy monitor. You can see this stock photo they have of the installation where we've got the device right down here and then it just clamps on to all of these circuits. It just sits around the outside of the wire. That's one side. The other side is a three and a half millimeter jack, like a headphone jack that plugs into the main box. And then you go through on the app and label, this is the fridge, this is the stove, this is the shed, so on and so forth. You monitor and control and manage this device that monitors your power usage from its mobile app. So when you install this, and it's super easy to install, I'll kind of go through the steps a little bit um, using the install guide, because I've, like I said, I've already installed this, so I can't really go through the steps live and show you as I'm doing it. The main screen here, which you name your, your setup, mine's Burton Bunker, you can go through and change how this monitors everything. So again, I went through and I set each of these numbers and each of these parameters, I named it and gave it an indicator. The Bit Cave is the solar powered crypto mining shed. And we can go through and get very granular on how we look at this. So for example, we can go up to the menu, change our units of measurement from currency to watts or amps, gallons of gas, car miles, carbon, and trees. Let's look at amps. Say we're looking at the day and we've got our units of measurements in amps. We can see total usage A and total usage B. That's the two clamps that go around the two main poles. We can look at the bit cave. We're using today so far, we've used 369 amps. I like to look at it as currency. So the solar powered crypto mining shed at its peak was costing me $17 a day. In addition to this, there's other products that they sell like an EV charger. They've got a solar unit. I haven't looked into it. I don't, maybe I need it. I don't, I don't know. I really haven't looked into it. I don't know what it does, but they've got a bunch of different products out there that also integrate with the same application. One cool feature that's come in handy more than once is the circuit that you name oven it will tell you when the oven is on over a certain amount of time. So for example, today we were cooking, so it was on for what, three hours today, two and a half, three hours today. I got a notification that says, hey, your oven's still on. I think that's pretty cool. That's come in handy more than once. Anyway, you can go through and set this up the way that you like so that you can name the different circuits, what they are. Now I got this actually, fuck, where was I? Oh. That's right, I own a butt ton of 3D printers and I got this to more accurately claim power usage for my business, for my, my home business. I've got all the printers in the same room, on the same, well, there's two circuits actually that are in 
the workshop, the current workshop. This helps me to write off that power usage in an accurate manner. I'm not just guessing 20%, 25%, 10% of the total house. No, I know exactly how much power each day, each month. In addition to that, as you know, I mine crypto and now I know exactly how much power was used to mine crypto so that one, I can look at it as how can I be more efficient? What am I, what can I do? Which settings can I change that will immediately affect efficiency of my mining cave, my bit cave? Two, I can also, because I'm mining through my business, my business is actually the one that's mining crypto. That is part of the offset cost of doing that activity as a business. Not financial advice. I'm not a tax lawyer or tax expert. So um, I'm just a guy on the internet definitely do your own research. Anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting kind of off track here. So Emporia, like I said, they've got a bunch of different devices. In fact, let's take a quick look at the different products they have. Level two EV charger, that's kind of cool with Pro Control. Not sure what that is. Smart plugs, those are super simple. Don't use that to control power usage on crypto mining. They, they will burn up. I, I don't care what company makes them. Essentially made to power a light bulb. You're gonna burn that up real quick. Alpha ESS battery system. That's interesting. Oh, so this actually has batteries with it. You could probably stack them. Yeah, battery mod, you can add up to it. Accommodate up to six, eight kilowatt battery modules from eight to almost 50 kilowatt hours of storage. This is the one I got. I paid a little less than that if I remember right. Um, I'll leave a link in the description down below um, to my Amazon store where I've got this listed on there if you wanna check it out. But yeah, you see there's got the one with just the two clamps on the end there. Got one with eight sensors. And then mine has the 16 sensors. Those are bundles. Oh, cool. Maybe I'll get one of those. $170, I will not be getting one of those. Anyway, so to the installation guide, something you definitely need to do is make sure that your power is off before you even open up your panel. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, don't. Don't do it. Call a professional. You will save money by paying someone else to do it the right way over paying for a hospital visit or damage done to your home or a, a funeral. Now, a lot of homes have a primary disconnect that is before your circuit panel, like my house has. So I can turn everything off going to the panel so everything in the panel is dead. If you don't have that, definitely flip off that main breaker. And remember, those big pegs at the top, the big wires at the very top, 90% of the time they're at the top, who knows how it's installed, maybe they're at the bottom, but they're big fat wires. Those are live. That will zap the fuck out of you, just so you know. Cut the power before you even open the uh, breaker panel. Take off the, the front shroud from a breaker panel. Now that you've definitely done that, now each of these little clamps has an arrow on it. That's going to be the flow of electricity. So like the big ones, you can see here, this side is the meter and this side is the breaker and you can see the little arrow. You know what, let me zoom in on that. You can see the arrow here is going towards the load, which is your breaker panel. Each of those individual clamps is also going to have an arrow for the direction of the flow of current essentially. So your arrow is going to be going away from the breaker box. If you have double pull breakers, so for example, uh, furnaces have this typically washer or I'm sorry dryers or electric stoves things like that will have it just put it over one of the leads not both of them coming off that double pull breaker uh, and then the power to power the box is also going to be on a, a little ribbon cable that comes off where the, the leads on the end you're going to put it into um, into the breaker panel on a on a breaker itself Okay, get the app, talked about that. Turn off the main breaker, talked about that. Find a place to put your monitor, mount the antenna. Yep, so you can see here that we're putting the clamp on the mains, on the two primary poles, and the arrow is going with the flow, the direction or flow of electricity. And like I said, it's got a little three and a half millimeter jack that goes into the primary box, and it comes with these little plugs. Kind of cool, so if you don't use all of the uh, available ports. You can plug it up so stuff doesn't get in it. You wire power that's going to go to the controller in the panel itself as well. The wire harness allows for single phase power or three phase power. You're probably gonna have single phase power if you're putting this in your home or home-based business or even a you know commercial business that's office space kind of thing.
not that office space. White connects to neutral, black provides power and voltage sensing, blue and red enable voltage sensing only. Wire the harness to a breaker and neutral bus. Let me break in here and say that I'm installing this in a home in North America. Looks like they sell this overseas. I have no idea what a breaker panel looks like or consists of overseas. As I understand it, 220 is a more prevalent available circuitry overseas, which makes sense because it's more efficient. But in America, we dumbed it down to 110 because we like to put pennies in slots. <sighs> and we're so happy. Take a photo of your system. I don't know if I did that when I installed it. Maybe I did. Before replacing your panel cover, take photos of your installation in case you need to contact support. That's a really good idea. Kind of like when you're working on a car, you take pictures of the scenario before you take it apart and then you know how to put it back together. Replace the cover and turn on all the breakers. Complete the setup. Now you go into your app, you get it all set up for your system on your Wi-Fi and things, and then you can go through and uh, in the settings name each of the circuits. Oh, here we are. Power usage, less than three watts is what this the current draws for the box that comes with this device. So this here is how I monitor power usage in my home for my home-based business and crypto mining. What do you use? Do you use anything to monitor and, and understand how your power is used in your home? Uh, if not, does this look like a viable option for you? Leave a comment down below and let me know. So if you've got this far in the video and this is the kind of content that you enjoy, please hit that thumbs up button. Help the YouTube algorithm get this pushed out to more people to see and consider subscribing to enjoy more content like this on the channel. And of course, thanks for watching.